got an idea for a website or take your business to the next level because you want to get online, why not do it with the world's best page builder, Elementor? And don't stop there. Get the hosting done with Elementor Cloud as well. We are talking about an amazing package for $99 per year. Now, Elementor Pro is $49 a year. So for an extra $50, you're going to get cloud hosting. This is amazing. I'm going to sign up and get connected right now. So once you're on Elementor.com in the pricing area, we're going to go over and purchase Elementor Cloud for $99 a year. I mean, it's super, super quick and easy to do. And now I'm going to go and start creating my website. Here's the beauty of Elementor Cloud. Now, we are going to create a WooCommerce website. And I just want to show you how quick and easy it is. So let's just go in and go start creating. Now, before we do that, let me show you what the Elementor Cloud looks like. So if I go to my account... Here's where you'll have access to all of your details and if you want to renew your membership and things like that. But what we can do now is just click create a new cloud website. The first thing I'm going to do is give my website a name. We'll keep it quite simple. Web Squadron Cloud. You can connect your domain to your website or your cloud later on. I'm going to go for online store. Now, this is the really amazing thing. So before I've even gone into Elementor, you all know of the templates and the kit libraries, right, that you can do within WordPress and Elementor, but you can do it straight from the off. So what I'm going to do is, because it's already gone to an online store because I picked it, I could change it if I want, but I'm going to leave it there. And I'm now going to scroll down and I'm actually going to go for this one here, this um, child children's costumes one. So I could, if I want, hit what's inside and have a look. But I'm just going to click start with this kit. So it's now creating our website and setting up our WordPress dashboard. That took three minutes to set up. Back into website, when you hover over it, it will say open the dashboard, edit with Elementor or manage this website. Now, I normally go to open the WordPress dashboard because I like to see what's going on there. If you want to jump straight into editing a page, you can go with edit with Elementor. But I just want to show you manage this website. So right now, if we go here down, well, basically, we got the temporary domain name and our ID. Then we have the managing of the domain. And this is important. We have over here an A record and a C name. Can you see that there? If you've purchased your domain from a nervous service provider, you will have to do what's known as a DNS, a domain uh, name server change. And what you do is you will either put in the A record or the C name. It is pretty clear. And if you're unsure, your hosting provider, not your hosting provider, your domain <laughs> provider can help you out with that, okay? So just let them know and they will help you out. But it is really, really simple. What you do is connect my domain, you make the connection and away you go. Now, there are a few other things I should mention. Even though this is $99 a year, you are not going to be auto-renewed, okay? This kind of protects you from that. Auto-renew is switched off rather than automatically being on. So that's great for you. And also the website is currently site-locked. Site-lock protects your website. So this is what everyone will see if they were to go to the URL now. Sorry, this website is hidden right now because you might be working on it in the background. Why do you need them to see this? What we're going to do, though, is unlock it. I mean, you would put in a pin code and you can change and set that pin code how you like. I'm just going to unlock it at the moment because I want you to see what happens. The other thing also to mention is that you do have backups down here and these will be taken on a daily basis or you could do one on the fly if you so want. Let's now go actually into the website. So let's open up the dashboard. And I've just gone straight to the website while the dashboard is opening. And look, it has applied that kit library. Now do understand that some of the images might not come through fully, like the logo is missing until you apply and add it to your WordPress media library. And now we're in WordPress. Now, if you're not sure of some of the settings, let me quickly show you that. This is your dashboard. This is where you can access your pages, your elemental settings and things like that. But let me just quickly show you some of the key settings. If we go down to users, here's where I can now see who is actually a user. That's me at the moment. I can go in and start to add in a new user if I so wanted. There are some settings as well. Some of the key things I would say to you, though, is you would now actually change the site title to be exactly what you want it to be for your website. You know, you would change your tagline as well. I would also suggest that you change things on your media setting here set these to be uh, zero like that just to help save on server space and storage space. You go into reading uh, setting down here and it will say the home page will be your home. Look, it's already built these pages for us. This is really amazing what it's done for us. I, I seriously, I kid you not. Now, 
You will have already noticed, or maybe you didn't notice, that Elementor is already installed. If I go to installed plugins on our WordPress dashboard, look, we've got an activity log, Elementor, Elementor Pro, and we have a new version, so I'll update that while we're talking. You always get Hello Dolly, which you can totally delete. You don't really need that. And also WooCommerce. So from one kit library, it's given me all the tools that I need. Now, before we actually go into touch any of the pages or look at the WooCommerce as well, if you go to Elementor and you go to settings, here's where you can start to mess around. Now, I would leave all of this as it is. I wouldn't touch the integrations or the advanced either, but in experiments, as a quick tip, I would activate the asset loading, the improved CSS loading. I would also go down and do optimized DOM output improved accessibilities. And if you are gonna have a contact form or anything like that, I would also activate the form submissions as well. Let's just save that. Now, while we're back into WordPress, you've already noticed WooCommerce. Now, because this has installed it for you, I strongly recommend that you go through the settings and start to complete the details. Let's go and set up payments. This is where you may use WooCommerce payments, which is actually connected to Stripe and you can enable Apple Pay and things like that. And if you scroll down to other payment methods, this is where you could now select PayPal with WooCommerce. And all you got to do is find the one you want, view the details and install or add in another free plugin and away you go with that. When we go to products, this is where you start to define what kind of items you're going to have in terms of the weight and dimensions. We also have the shipping tab. If you were to click over here on add shipping zone, I might say I'm going to have UK only. I will then type down here uh, United Kingdom. If I spell that right, there we go. And then I'm going to decide on my shipping methods. Maybe there'll be a flat rate or maybe it'll be free shipping or maybe it's going to be a local pickup. So there's all these things that you can do really easily. Then you got the emails. So where are the emails going to go? So when you're processing an order, you obviously want that to go to the customer. When there's a new order, you want that to go to yourself, for instance. So you can start to define where are emails going to go and you can even mess around with the colors of those emails over in accounts and privacy. Who can set up an account? Anyone? Well, obviously, yeah, if you're an e-commerce shop, you would want that. But also, can they create an account during checkout? So there's lots of options down here and they are all easy to understand and go through. And then we have advanced as well. Now, already, uh, WordPress, once we brought in the kits library because it installed WooCommerce, has said the cart page is the cart page. The checkout is the checkout page, but we don't have a terms and condition. Once you've created that page, I would strongly recommend you assign it here so you now have a terms and condition page, okay? And you wouldn't really need to mess around with anything else down here. You could leave it as it is. Let's now go back into actual WordPress and now affecting our pages. Now, if we go over here to pages, there are two cart pages and there are two checkout. I would use the one that has Elemental next to it because it actually has a title in and we are going to very quickly drop a, a widget into there to stylize it out. Now we're going to go over to the home page first and you'll notice there's edit, quick edit, trash, view or edit with Elemental. Whenever you're editing with Elemental, always click edit with Elemental. So here's the home page and we have our widgets. Now you can, if you want, just click into here and change the wording over here and put wow, or you can go over here and I'm going to get rid of the words over there. So you have so many options on how you can build. And of course, there are loads more tutorials and guidance on how to build out pages with Elementor. But the great thing is we have a page and we can now start to modify, add images. Like I could drop in a widget here and I could go in and go, right, let's just pick an image from, let's just go with this one here right? Let's just do that. So you can start to modify how your website looks. And of course, whenever you've done any changes, always click update. Otherwise, they won't be visible on your final website. Now, I've just mentioned the checkout page that we have over here. If I just close that down and go to checkout, and what we're going to do is go to edit with Elemental again. All I'm going to do is go here, type uh, checkout, which is here. And what we now have are the checkout coming through. This is better than the standard one you get with WooCommerce because you can now start to manipulate how this looks. Is it going to be two columns? Is it going to be one column? You can really adjust the styling of this as much as you want. And I'm going to hit update now again. And ever since Elemental brought out the cart and checkout pages, I strongly recommend you use their widgets. And if I take you back over to the home page here, if I was to type in cart, 
you would be dragging in this facility. I'm just going to pop it here for now, but you would have put that into the cart page. And again, you can start to style it how you want. Now, if we go back into WordPress, we do have WooCommerce. Okay. I've already shown you the settings for that. Beneath that, you have products. If we go to all products, here is where you would have built them out. Now, the kit library has already brought them in. So if you want to start off with your own items, delete all of them and have just one and study it. Look at how it's been built out. In fact, let's we could do a completely brand new one. But I'm just going to click edit to show you how this was built. It's got a title. It has a description. It's also been assigned to the toys category. Maybe I want to assign it not just a toy, but to babies as well. So let's just type in uh, babies. We're going to hit add a new category and I will leave this on the babies as well. I could untick it or I could tick it. It's entirely up to you. We have a simple product. It is $34.99. But what if we want to have a sale price? So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say $29.99. We could even hit schedule and say this is only valid from a certain date to a date, which is super, super cool. Product tags is not a bad thing to do if you care about your SEO and keywords. So you want to be found on Google, right? Down here, you have a shorter description. I would definitely recommend you put something in here because your longer description here might be a whole lot longer, right? And I'm just going to go like that. Let's just make it ridiculously long for now, okay? You'll have your products image. You would click here and you would pick your image, but you can also have a product gallery. So let's go in and let's just pick, uh, let's just go for all of these items here. And we've now added that to our gallery as well. And when that's all done, hit update. Now, you could, if you want, do all of these products and all your items and then let everybody know about your website. But that is a mistake you don't want to make. What you really want to do is go to templates down here in your WordPress dashboard, click on save templates, click on all. And this is where, again, Elementor has given you so much great stuff. It's already built a header, a footer, a 404 page. So if someone comes to like an unknown or a broken link, a subscription pop up, which was at the bottom of the page, Handmade Kids Shop, which um, isn't actually being used at the moment. Search results, which is really, really important. But do you notice what's missing here? A shop template and a single product template. You need to have that for your e-commerce website. Let's just go over here and I'm going to click products archive. OK, just to make sure there definitely isn't one there. So we're going to create one from scratch. We're going to click add new. It's a products archive and I'm going to call it a shop template like that. And then we're going to click create template. Now, Elementor will give you some styles that you can start to modify. And let's just see what it gives us. So I'm actually going to go for this one here. I'm just going to hit insert. Now, once you've inserted it again with Elementor, you can start to modify the look of it. If you find you're not liking the color scheme that's being applied, click on the hamburger over here. Go to site settings, go to global colors. And I'm now going to pick this primary color here. And I am intentionally going to make it a dark color like that. Now, whenever that color was in use, it will now apply. I'm just going to hit update. And what you're going to notice is the color has now instantly changed. So if you use the site settings and set your global colors and your global fonts and the sizing. So if I was to go to, um, well, won't do it here. But if you were to set it, you could actually control the look of your website. If I click on this widget, which is the product archive products one, if I now go to style, I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to price and I'm going to adjust the price size. I'm going to make it. Well, there's the price size there. I'm going to adjust the regular price, which is currently 75 uh, pixels, which is way too big. So there we go. I'm not, I can now make it smaller. But not only that, I could, if I want, change the font as well. So just for the sake of it, let's just go and pick uh, this one here. So literally like that, you can modify the look of your website. I can even give it a bit of spacing with the, between the numbers. So I'm just going to hit publish. Now, when I do that, it says, where do you want to put the template? I'm going to say, put this on all product archives. So from now on, whenever you go to the shop page, after you've added it to your menu, it will now take you there. Now, you will notice that over here, we don't still have a logo. We got to do the site logo back in WordPress. Let me just go over to WordPress. Let's go down to appearance and go to themes. Elemental will install for you the Hello theme. And I strongly recommend you use that because it is super light and it is great to use. Let's click customize on that. And over here we have site identity. We don't have a logo. So just for the sake of what we're doing here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick this bird here as the logo. Let's just stick it in and say skip cropping. And what will happen is when we've published that, 
That will now become the logo that will appear on the website and you'll see it appear in a moment. There you go, that's now applied. I'm gonna go back over to my template over here and I'm gonna go to save template and I'm now gonna click add new and I'm gonna do a single product template because we haven't done that. Single product and I'm gonna call it a single product template like that. And we click create template. Now again, Elemental is gonna give you some possible stars. You could build one completely from scratch if you want. I'm going to pick this one here and I'm just gonna go with insert and instantly it's gonna insert it onto that page. So there we have our layout and you can now see what it's doing, okay? Um, we have our items, image, and we have our description down here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to go to style, go to typography, and I am gonna make this be a size of about 20, like that. These are just examples. Don't follow the sizing I'm doing, by the way, but I'm just showing you how quick and easy it is. And here's where you have all your widgets. So if you don't like the look of this or you want to rearrange it and swap things over, or maybe you want the buy now button to be over here or whatever, you can do that, okay? You could even, if you want, add the button over here onto the actual image. I wouldn't do that, but you could do if you want. But you have all your options here. The key bit, is, though, is to hit publish. You're gonna add a condition, and you're gonna say this is on for every product, but you could create a different template for different categories. So you might say any item that currently is falls within the toys category, which is what we have here, will now have this template. And anything that is say uh, furniture or something will have a different one. But I'm gonna keep it really simple and say, let's just go for all products. And there we go. So I'm not gonna view the site. I could hit the URL or I could just go over here and hit view site. So our website, which is live right now, has got the logo. You can go in and fine tune and mess around with the look of it. If I click discover costumes, it's gonna take us to the shop page that we just kind of created and modified. We haven't adjusted the menu or the appearances or things like that, so you would make that look a whole lot more better. Remember, you do have the search option as well. This has all been built for you by Elemental's kit library. And if I was to go into here and say uh, this one here, the angel costume, it's now gonna open up the template. Look, it's exactly how I left it where I rearranged items like that. So this is, is a super, super amazing way to work on a website. Add to cart. This is now gonna take us to our cart page. We could view the carts even. We haven't adjusted the styling, but this is where we could have done. I could go to proceed to checkout. And remember, we had the checkout page, but I added in the widget. It's all starting to happen. How quick have I done this? Of course, you'd have to add in your products and spend a bit more time on styling. But with Elemental Cloud, for $99 a year, Elemental Pro, I get all these amazing widgets, and I had the entire website practically built for me so I'm not now wasting time on, right, I've got to get these plugins in, I've got to now build this out. It's all been built there, but I now have the power to fine tune to make it work for me. It doesn't matter if it's an e-commerce website, a blog, an online portfolio, it might even be a one-page CV. There is so much you can do with Elemental. You don't have to mess around now with plugins and well, what goes where. It's all been built for you. Even the menu, you go in and adjust it accordingly to what you want. $99, Elemental Pro, cloud hosting, come on, get going.